been digging through our bookcase and I found another maths book. So today's story is by Shirley Hughes. It's called All Shapes and Sizes. Look at all the different size children. All shapes and sizes. Boxes have flat sides. Balls are round. High is far up in the sky. Low is near the ground. Some of us are rather short. Some are tall. Some pets are large. Some are small. Our cat is very fat. Next door's is thin. Big teddies out. Little teddies in. Squeeze through narrow spaces. Run through wide. Climb up the ladder. Slide down the slide. Get behind to push. Get in front to pull. This jar is empty. Now it's full. Hats can be many sizes. So can feet. Children of all ages playing in the street. What a lovely story. Now I think just about every page in this book had a different challenge that we could think about. Should we have a look through and think of some wondering? Boxes have flat sides. Balls are round. I wonder what you have in your house that has flat sides. And I wonder what you have in your house that's round. High is far up in the sky. Low is near the ground. Do you have things high up on the walls in your house or high up on shelves? like my books. Do you have things low down on the ground? Some of us are rather short. Some are tall. We could use our toys again, couldn't we? We could sort our toys from the shortest toy to the tallest toy. Some pets are large. Some are small. Our cat is very fat. Next door's is thin. Would your toys be in the same order if you sorted them by the fattest toy to the thinnest toy? Big teddies out, little teddies in. Squeeze through narrow spaces, run through wide. What's the narrowest space? that you could fit through. Where's the widest part of your house? How could you prove it? Climb up the ladder, slip down the slide. I wonder if you could make a slide for your toys. Get behind to push, get in front to pull. What things do you have that you push? And do you have any toys that you pull? This jar is empty. Now it's full. Now, it'd be lovely to experiment with this, but we don't want to do that in sitting rooms or in nice carpeted places. This is something to find out about in the bath or stood over the bath. But you could look at some different sized jars and cups and try and sort them by which one can hold the most water and which one holds the least. Hats can be many sizes. Do you have many hats in your house? Maybe you could sort them by size or you could sort them by shape. If you don't have hats, don't worry because the next page says so can feet.
and I'm sure you all have shoes in your house. How could you sort your shoes? Sophie and I like to sort our shoes by colour. Children of all ages playing in the street. Ooh, do you know, I think we missed this page last time, didn't we? We can stand up very straight or we can bend. Here's a beginning, and this is the end. And there's a little bit of twinkling. Good job we read that twice, because I'm sure we missed a page the first time through. 